Yeah, you know, it, yeah, I know. And then I just didn't th finish it. Okay, well let's let's finish it now. You know, so um, the first step, of course, is um, taking the acid and making the acid chloride out of it, right? So, um, I'm not going to do the mechanism because I have this mechanism somewhere else. Okay, so that's what we'll get after the first step, right? is the acid chloride, just like what you put on your thing. But then what will happen is you've got this secondary amine that's going to attack the electrophilic carbon here, right? Uh, these acid chlorides are very reactive. So you've got anything that's a nucleophile in there is going to attack, right? It's going to attack that acid chloride, come back down, knock that CO minus off, right? And you're going to get the amide. Methyl, methyl, right? Okay, but the pyridine is in there to uh, deprotonate the, well, the resulting amide, right? The protonated amide. So you won't make HCl in there. So uh, your pH won't go down very much, okay? So your organic product, if you will, is going to be this, okay? You don't necessarily have to write that. Um, Pyridine, from dated pyridine. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> so again, it's because you've got very nucleophilic nitrogen, very electrophilic carbon there. And the chlorine wants to leave. And the chlorine is a good leaving group, yeah. Any questions on that? No. <laughs> <laughs>